Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Starlosa and welcome to Unit Lost. So, I've been playing a lot of Elite Dangerous, but I've been playing it with a nice little program called Voice Attack. Uh, and I want to show you how this makes the game way more immersive. It's, it's so good, you really do feel like you're in charge of your own like uh, spaceship, it's, it's crazy. Uh, also, my UI is blue. I will put a link in the description below to how I've actually done that. You can change the UI to whatever colour you like. If you don't like the orange, personally, I quite like the orange, but blue is Unit Lost, so I'm like, you know, blue. So, uh, yeah, let's let's look at some uh, voice commands which I've set up for the onboard computer. Deploy weapons. Weapons deployed. Let's blow this joint and go home. Cycle fire group. Retract weapons. Weapon systems offline. You're a pussy, boss. Engage cloak. Cloak engaged. We be all stealthy and shit now, boss. Disengage cloak. Cloak offline. Dem bitches gonna get us now, boss. Deploy cargo scoop. Cargo scoop deployed. Feed me that delicious goodness. Retract cargo scoop. Cargo scoop retracted. Belly full. Cargo scoop. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that that is, that is pretty good. Now, I do have some other commands. <laughs> I've also got some stupid commands, like this. Computer, open the pod bay doors. Computer, open the pod bay doors. I'm sorry, Sty. I'm afraid I can't do that. Now, you'll notice that it didn't actually take the command the first time there, guys. That is because I spoke too soon. Okay, so because I'm actually making a video, or as was the case yesterday, I was streaming, um, I'm constantly talking, so when I go to issue a voice command, sometimes I'd issue it a bit too close to whatever the last thing I said was, which obviously the program's constantly monitoring your microphone, and uh, it's like, well, that's not a command, which is, which is fair, you know? Anyway, we can have a conversation with the computer, so uh, yeah, I've always wondered what the computer thought about the Enterprise's computer, because surely the, the computer on the Enterprise, she's some sort of celebrity, right? Computer, what do you think about the Enterprise's computer? That fucking bitch has nothing on me. I'm next level. She's a trashy hoe. Plus wants to get it on with that freak data. I mean, that's sick. Computer, how do I find you on this fine day? As the days go by, we face the increasing inevitability that we are alone in a godless, uninhabited, hostile and meaningless universe. Still, you've got to laugh. Haven't you? Computer, tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Computer, who's there? Canoe. Computer, canoe who? Canoe, please delete me. I'm sick of your bullshit. Deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Love it. Retract landing gear. L gear retracted. Try not to fucking crash this time, pleb. So pretty good, guys. But this is my favourite, because <laughs> I've always wanted to say this. And I bet you there's a lot of people out there like, yeah, they really want this. So we want to go into frame shift, which you could argue is going to warp speed. I know it's technically not, because when you're in frame shift, uh, when we go into the frame shift drive, um, so, well, super cruise even, we can then go into hyperspace, which would be warp, I guess. But you can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Engage. Maximum warp. Oh boss. I like it when we go fast. Only I was mass locked, so let's try that again. Engage. Maximum warp. Oh boss. I like it when we go fast. So good guys. So good. Now of course you can do whatever the hell you like. So what I'm going to do now is, I, I mean I've got a load of commands. Well, I, I'll show you this last one. This doesn't really do anything again, it's just a, a voice response from the computer, but it's still, it's pretty funny. Computer, sing for me. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's show you how to set up voice attack. So the first thing you need to do is go and set up the speech recognition system on Windows. Now, just search Windows for speech and you'll find it. Um, you need to set that up, though, because that's how voice attack will recognize your voice. Um, because if you don't, then it just totally will not understand what the hell you're saying, which will be bad because then none of your voice commands can work. And also, guys, if I can set this up, then you can set this up. That is a promise. 
Now, the next thing you've got to do is download Voice Attack. There's a link in the description to it. Uh, I picked up the full version, but there is a trial version if you just want to test it out. So then what we need to do is make a profile. So this is my Elite Dangerous profile, okay? But what you would do is you would hit the drop-down menu, click Create New Profile, which would then bring us into the new profile window, um, which will is this window. Although, obviously, like we can once we've got a profile in place, we can hit the Edit Profile button to edit the commands that we want. So you can see I've got a ton of commands in, okay? But don't worry about that for the moment because I'll show you how to enter a new command. So if you hit new command, okay, this command is executed when I say, when I press a key, or when I press a button. Well, we want when I say, don't we? Because that's the whole point of it. So I'm going to say, uh, hello, fine people of the internet. Now, do I want a key press for this? I don't because I just want this to. I just want to show you guys how it will actually work when I issue the command. Um, but if this was for elite, then obviously we wouldn't say hello, fine people of the internet. We would say something like um, deploy weapons, and then the key press would be the same key press on the keyboard that deploys weapons. Okay, so you need to know what keys are bound to what ability or, or what function on the ship. Uh, because if you don't, then you'll be pressing the wrong buttons and stuff. So let's just say for for argument's sake, I want to press spacebar. So I'm going to hit spacebar now. It's changed to space, okay? You can see it says space. So let's say okay. So the first thing this will do is press space. We can have mouse uh, movement if we want, but again, that's kind of not... We don't really need that for this, so I'm just going to say no. Pause. We can have a pause in between the actions. Again, we don't want that. Not for what I want to show you anyway, so we will delete that. Other. This is what we're interested in because there are a load of different things we can do. But the thing I'm interested in is this, say something with text to speech. So I'm going to select that. Now, what we need to write in here is what we want the speech engine to say after we issue the command and the command is correctly given. All right. So hello, fine people of the Internet is what we say. Um, or, well, actually, I'll change that to computer. Say hello to fine people. We'll change that in a second. Cause that's make, it makes no sense. Um, hello, Internet people. Hopefully... Stylosa, uh, I, um, 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 I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Hopefully, Stylosa um, manages to make a decent tutorial. Okay. Now, we can select the voice. So we've got Ivona 2, right? Now, and Ivona Jennifer. These are premium voice packs you can download, okay? They are quite expensive. I'll put a link to this in the description, though. But uh, I'm just using the free trial of these. But they do sound way more computer-like, more kind of Star Trek-like, if you if you will. But if you didn't have these and you've just got the default, then this is what it would sound like when this command, hello, fine people of the internet, uh, is spoken. This is what she would say. Hello, internet people. Hopefully, Stylosa manages to make a decent tutorial. So pretty good. But then if we use my favorite, which is Ivona to Amy, Hello internet people, hopefully Stylosa manages to make a decent tutorial. So that to me is, uh, that's quite a bit better. So if we go for that, and I'll just change the command to computer, say hello to the, uh, say hello uh, to the fine people of the internet. Okay. And we can see the command's gone in there. And we're going to click done. Now, this command will work now, now, now. So this means, because I've got the active window selected, it will do what I've just said. I wouldn't recommend that. What I would do is I would uh, set it to the game. Now, I don't have the game open, but if I did, it would take up one of these slots, okay? So it would be like Elite Dangerous, whatever. Because you only want the voice commands to happen inside the game when the game window is selected. Because if you minimize out of the game and accidentally issue a voice command, it'll start pressing buttons and it could do who knows what, and you don't want that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to speak this into the microphone. But we need to leave a little pause before we do so, because as you can see, it's constantly looking for what I'm saying, and it will just, it won't understand. Okay, so let's try this. Computer, say hello to the fine people of the internet. Hello, internet people. Hopefully, Stylosa manages to make a decent tutorial. So that's pretty good, isn't it, guys? Now, I'll just show you one of these ones I've got in place for... Um, like an actual command. So this one, when I say cycle fire group, it will press the N key, which changes fire group. But there's no audio for that because I thought that was a bit convoluted. I don't want to constantly speak into me. Um, I only want it to speak on certain points. Um, so for example, deploy the cargo scoop. 
Well, deploy scoop deployed. <laughs> Feed me that delicious goodness. Notice it, it changed that to seven. That's because that's the, that's what I bound cargo scoop to. Um, but when I say that, and you'll notice that I actually said the in the middle of that, it still understood what I said, which is pretty good. So she deployed the cargo scoop and said, cargo scoop deployed, feed me that delicious goodness. It's pretty good, guys. Um, but yeah, you can do anything with it. It's really good. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. This has been a little bit of a tutorial video and kind of show you my setup for Elite at the moment um, where I have been using voice tech and it makes the game way more immersive. Like it, to just sit there and kind of be in control of your ship with your voice, it, I don't know, you feel really powerful. <laughs> all right, guys, I've been Stylo Set. This is Unit Lost. If you like the video, then like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Tell all your friends and your chums, even tell your granny. And I'll catch you next time, people. Do loop.